How do you even describe Hotel Tacoma? It, it was crazy. Toyota had us up, Wallapai Mountain, wherever the hell that is. It's not a normal kind of hotel. It's better than that. Everywhere you turned, there was some kind of motorized or non-motorized vehicle shredding through camp. I mean, Tacomas and mountain bikes and dirt bikes and side-by-sides and yoga girls. They just basically served up the pie of awesomeness. Everything you could imagine you'd be getting at a five-star restaurant was cooking over the open flame. The food was next level. I mean, they even built a freaking monument with a fire-breathing bunny head on top. How sick is that? It's different, dumb, awesome, and insane, all at the same time. I guess you really had to be there to get it. took first place. Now we're heading as far north as we can go, the Arctic Circle. We've got sub-zero temperatures, avalanche warnings, oncoming big rig trucks, and who knows what else. Our mission, take the TRD Pro Tacoma all the way to the end of the Dalton Highway. This is one of the most harsh and brutal pieces of real estate in the world. It's a 530 mile chunk of road that nobody drives recreationally. Dude, look at this. This is just ridiculous. Hey, that's as high as the sun gets. In the middle of winter, you're down to about three hours of daylight. So you gonna let me drive this time? Maybe. You wanna play Rochambeau? Yeah. Whoever loses has to go for a swim in that Arctic plunge, dude. Really? Okay, I'm in. Ready? Rochambeau. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh. Look how dark it is in there. How did I let you talk me into this? Oh. Oh. There's layers of the earth that we never saw here. It's really cool. Uh, we saw we saw minus 30 this morning. It's all great when everything is working out like it is right now, but 
it's when something goes wrong because there's no 911 and that is exactly what gets you in trouble in Alaska. There you go. Where the heck are we? This is about halfway. And then we're going to all the snow stuff right up here. Here, I'll make it warmer. <laughs> Everybody said, ooh, you got to have a block heater up there. Oh, you got to have a winch for sure. We didn't do any of that. Dude, get me off the highway. Let's go find some trails. I think I got some for you here, buddy. We didn't do anything to this truck. No modifications whatsoever. We put gas in it. That's it. in America than this. Wow, that storm was gnarly. 60 mile an hour winds, four foot drifts. I got vertigo. So you guys have made it to the northernmost point accessible by road in the western hemisphere. Yeah. This is north. Where are you going next? Somewhere warm, please. Somewhere really, really warm. <laughs> we need to thaw. <laughs> I don't know what the next challenge is, but knowing the guys that took it, we're going to have something pretty gnarly. My name is Andy Bell, and this is the fourth TRD Pro Challenge. In the past, we've raced in Baja, climbed Chilean volcanoes, and conquered the Dalton Highway in Alaska. For this challenge, we're going to cross an entire country, south to north. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh! Here to help me are two of my best friends, Jamie Bestwick and Roland Sands. These guys have no idea what they're in for. If they don't think I'm serious about this trip, they got another thing coming. Where is he? challenge for your boys. You up for it? Well, now that you've finally yeah, turned up. Yeah, yeah we are. I mean, we've been waiting here about time, three hours. Man. Don't you guys worry. Jamie, forerunner. Mr. Sands, Tacoma. I'm taking the Bad Dog Tundra. Let's get ready. Let's do this. All right. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Drive careful. <laughs> oh, there's just some mud here, boy. Yeah, roll Jamie like this one. Oh, nice. Holy smokes. Come on soon. This weather's crazy. <laughs> hey, boys, welcome to Ho Chi Minh City. Whoa! Did you see that dude just like push by me? No! No, 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 
So that's the closest I've gotten to almost hitting somebody in my life. Nobody looks left or right. People just pull out. I really don't like taxes. This is such chaos right now. Can we please be done with this traffic? Ah! <laughs> Yeah, be careful, please. And it's so slick right here. It's pushing it towards roots and trees. That drop off on the side was like 2,000 feet. I don't want this to push me towards that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Big old mud bug right here. Just so stop. Let's have a look at it and see what the game plan is. Hey, Jamie. Yeah? It's really deep right here in the middle. You're going to high center a little bit, maybe. He's going to try and pop up on that left shoulder right there. Yeah, go for it. Turn you want to go. Don't think about it. Go that side. Go that side. Yeah. Yeah, Jamie. Let's go now, boys. Nice one. All right, roll. Let's go. That side. Nice. Yeah. Hi, boy. Let's show you what's up. I've flown 24 hours to get to Vietnam, and he's asking me to eat dog. We're at a local restaurant. I asked him to bring the local delicacies. Don't worry, Roland. We ordered you a happy meal. It's the egg of luck. <laughs> no. Oh, you're a man. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, they had ahead of us. That's our shortcut right up there. Zigzag road. That thing will save us at least four hours. No, it's like a great opportunity to get stuck in the mud. It's pretty serious. But if we can make it through this mud, we'll drop right into Hanoi. Hey, Andy, this is just like racing at Baja. <laughs> no way. We're definitely getting off the beef down here. Hey, this road's a bit wet. This isn't a road, man. This is a river. Heads up, guys. It's getting soft. <laughs> All right. Take the crawl control, baby. Yeah. All right. That was sick, though. Look at that, man. It's just like a moving river of scooters. Oh, my God. You really make me want a cup of coffee now. Come on! Weasel coffee. Trust me. We're about to drink coffee that came from the poop of an animal. Cheers, guys. Weasel Cheers. coffee. Weasel coffee. Good. That's great. Hey, let's get a shake. Barber. Barber right hey, here. Barber. You think we can do anything with this? <laughs> you look really good right now. <laughs> what is that? Uh, Jamie, you suck at this thing. just getting woke oh, up. Oh, what are you doing? Sorry, sorry. Hey, Belle, are we sleeping out here tonight? Don't you guys worry. I got it handled. What do you got in store for us here? It's a homestay. What do you mean a homestead? It's like a Vietnamese B&B. Did anybody get the Wi-Fi password? <laughs> Guys, you're not going to believe the spot we're going to right now. It's like straight out of a movie. Is it just me or have we been here before? Andy, is this the way we're supposed to be going? Don't worry, guys. Of course I know where I'm going. What do you think? Ooh, left? Come on, bro. Are you kidding me? Just around this corner. Guys, I think we need to take our time and just figure out a plan. No, we're totally fine. That's the second time you passed that tractor, buddy. What are you doing? Just make your mind up. This looks like a road to nowhere, man. Will you please just ask for directions? Uh, okay, I did not. Okay, perfect. Just this way? Is that, that way? Yeah, okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, holy moly. If this is getting lost, count me in. Absolutely incredible. Just stunning. B 
Vietnam from tip to tail. This has been incredible. Well, we showed up with three TRD pros. We made it through everything Vietnam had to throw at us. Sand, rocks, and riverbeds, and crazy traffic. Cow in the road! These things are so badass. We got into a few sticky situations. Always got out of them, though. But what better place to come challenge with these trucks and two of my buddies? Challenge Vietnam? Check. Where are we going next? I've got a nice little shortcut planned. Should be pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> Hotel Tacoma is really about going out and having fun and just sending it, you know, and like doing a lot of radical stuff. And the Mutant Toy fit in really well with that vibe because we're doing like probably 40 mile an hour wheelie down the sand from the beach through the water. It was insane. The Squatch was was born out of these guys had strapped the couch on in the back of a quad. And I'm just like, that looks like so much fun. What if we built a legitimate version of that um, and gave it some character? We kind of like just used this as inspiration inspiration to create the squash. As we started cutting stuff up and putting the bodywork on it and we put an old Tacoma front end on it, it started taking on this brand new character of its own and it turned into kind of like a pre-runner quad. You know, as we, we, we welded like a skid plate on it and then we did roll bars around all the seats in the back. And when we finally did paint the squash on the hood and the teeth on the bottom, then the thing just totally came alive. My name is Craig Stanton. We are here to break the speed record for an SUV. We're jamming now. 165.02. We got a pop up on the intake somewhere. We just need to cool the car and we'll uh, go out and do it again. And hey, we got a bigger problem. Pour it on the last 
the world's fastest SUV right now is at 211 miles an hour. That's extremely fast. So I thought, why don't we make a really ultra-powerful Land Cruiser? And let's just see how fast we can make it go. We're going to be um, challenged to make a Land Cruiser that will beat that speed. We're trying to make it the opposite of what it's traditionally been, which is an off-road vehicle. The biggest problem is trying to get it down to the ground and getting it lowered. It's meant to have ground clearance. We are doing a shakedown run to see if we can get enough speed there to be comfortable with the land speed cruiser. So right now we're just checking for vibration, temperatures, looking at the overall vehicle, making sure we don't have any, any leaks. the speed that I wanted to go to. I said if we can get to 150 today, I'd be happy. We're at 163 and we're still at low boost. Next step, if we take it back to shop, we do a really extensive search and review everything. We put the high speed tires on it and we're going to see what kind of speed we can attain at a track that has a little more straightaway. Good morning. Uh, welcome to Mojave Air and Spaceport. Uh, we're sad to have you out here. Now, this is an active airport. You'll be crossing active runways and active taxiways. We have a two and a half mile long paved runway. We'll use about a mile and a half of that for speed and a, and a mile just to make sure we're safe for slowing down. Now, we've got uh, two drivers, Craig Stanton, our normal test driver, and we're expecting to see Carl Edwards show up here just momentarily. As of right now, we're pretty confident we'll get up to some decent speed today. popped in the motor. Okay. I just lifted just a little bit and something popped like it did in Arizona. I told him I woke up about literally at like two this morning. What am I doing? <laughs> Paul just sent me a, a text like, hey, you want to do this? I'm like, sure. I didn't ask a lot of questions. So I think we can do just what we just did and go 10 miles an hour faster, but you're going to be hard braking. You need another 1,000 feet to go that. The speed is But if rough. we pump the boost up, you yeah, we just need more power. Carl Edwards, I'm here at the Mojave Air and Spaceport, and we just did something pretty crazy. We drove an SUV over 230 miles per hour, but I'm telling you, at 225 miles per hour, the thing was wandering a little bit and trying to keep my foot in it. All I could think is uh, Craig Stanton, who, who got it all, all warmed up today, he just said, no matter what, just keep your foot in it, and, and we got 230 miles per hour, so an awesome day. Today we got, uh, I think it's an unofficial record, but safe to say that's the fastest SUV on the planet. It's the fastest SUV I've ever driven. It's crazy. <laughs>